dear Rockstar. Hi, it's me, Black Knight. I figured I'd go with Austin's intro for this because, yes, I'm trying to address you a little bit here. And also because why not go for the, the triple, the triple ripoff. Why not, I say, why not? Is that the quadruple ripoff? Maybe, okay. At any rate, the reason, I'll explain the whole triple ripoff thing as things go along here, but first of all, let's talk about this truck. Give all the trucks, of all the vehicles, that when you lie to us and you say you're going to get rid of the lesser used vehicles, you would think this one, this slam truck would have to be on that list because it doesn't do anything that you expect it to do. You can't put a car on the back of it. You can't use it as a jump ramp. It doesn't handle like a truck. It handles like a drift Tampa. It's a very, very weird vehicle. Doesn't really fit a niche. It's not fast. It's, you know, the only thing it does have is a lot of customization, and so it, there, there's some value to it there. It looks cool. It makes a great garage decoration, and that's why, when I thought it was going to be removed, I bought one during the great FOMO panic of 2023, and if you haven't watched any of my other videos, you know, or anybody else's videos, or you've been under a rock, I guess, FOMO, fear of missing out, when, of course, you know, you, Rockstar, decided to take a third of the vehicles way off, uh, out of the game so you couldn't buy them easily. You had to check back in week after week. Oh, my goodness. Is the Stinger GT available this week? No. Well, maybe someday. And just jerk this around so much. I mean, I realize what you're trying to do. And, you know, you can create, you know, more excitement in the game and get people, oh, look, it's like a real dealership. We have to look for special cars. It's like real life. Not what we're looking for in this game. Not what, you know, I, I didn't I didn't need to burn up all the space you just given me my 50 car garage by buying cars that I probably would not have bought just to have because I wouldn't be able to have them. And now it's, I'm back to the point where it's like, you know, every time I get a car it has to be an anxiety. So honestly, you, you got to reverse this. This is, you know... And, but that's not that's not even the, the main point here. The main point here is here we have your truck. This thing that wasn't removed, which it, it's, it's over a million dollars. I forget what it is. It's just this million dollar truck that you cannot put a car on the back of. Oh, you could, you could put you could park one statically in the uh, in the LS car meet as a decoration. But this is this this truck is pure decoration. It's absolutely pure decoration. And, you know, I'm, I'm not even going to talk to you. You know, it's like, there's nothing wrong with a truck that's pure decoration. It's pretty. It has a lot of nice things. The people who did work out did great. It's just that the handling is weird and it doesn't function as it, as it should. If you had just, just taken the, the ramp down to a point, like an actual ramp, so the cars could drive on it, I realize collision physics is a thing. So getting it to stay there is a problem. It's just built into the game that way. But then you could at least use it as a ramp. I mean, maybe you could have the ramp kind of angled up over the cab so that you could launch stuff, and then it would have been a lot of fun. Mobile jump ramp didn't happen. So this is largely not a useful thing. Largely not useful. But we're I'm, I'm done talking with you. Well, you have to revert, revert the whole taking things out of the website thing. Nobody likes it. Nobody likes it. We understand where you're coming from. I can even see how it benefits you in the structure of the game because it makes people, you know, gives it, it builds that FOMO, which is a great marketing tool. And you got some stuff behind your pay window with the GTA Plus so that only certain cars you can get the car meet. The whole thing is just wildly aggravating, and I'm still calling on you to revert it, even though you probably never will. Not, not in your MO. I understand that. It's just you're just going to jerk us around. As long as you can. And speaking of jerking us around as long as you can and that sort of thing, this this gets into the other where I said this is a triple ripoff. I'm not even talking about your ripoff. I mean, what the, the stuff I'm I'm copying and inspired by with this, making these videos. When I make build videos, I make them because I happen to be building up a car. I'm recording it for posterity because the day is gonna come when. Uh, 
when Rockstar says, hey, you know, uh, we're not making any money off GTA anymore, uh, so we're shutting the servers down, deleting everything. And then when I'm old and in the home, I can look back at, you know, the cars I really liked. You know, I have pictures, you know, it's... There's a story, you know, my, my dad, uh, for many, 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 you know, years, you know, decades, was uh, an ultrasound uh, technician, you know, a cardiovascular ultrasound uh, sonographer. And uh, he had a patient who used to come in and used to just go on about how much he loved his dog. He had pictures of the dog, and he'd talk about the dog, and loved the dog. He might have even brought the dog in. I don't remember. But this guy, the, the dog was really a big deal to him. And then one day the dog died and the guy was down and my dad was trying to perk him up and he said, well, you know, you, you could take the dog, you could have them, you know, you could take it to the taxidermist and then they can actually give you the dog back and you can just have him around, kind of just, you know, he's still there, he's your dog. And the guy kind of thought about, he goes, nah, I got pictures. And so that became like a thing in the family, like if you if you had to lose something, well, you got pictures, you know, you can just, it's just on to the next thing. So I got videos. When one day this, this truck is no longer in existence, and it's only pixels, it just takes one click. One electromagnetic pulse, <laughs> anything like that, you know, it just, it's all going to be gone. So, with the knowledge that all of this is very temporary, and really all of life is very temporary, uh, so I make these videos, and I, you know, and hopefully you enjoy them as well, my viewers. They are, when I'm just building a car up, going to be naturally very similar to the stuff that Digital Car Addict does on the Digital Car Attic channel, which you should be subscribed to. If, it's, if you like this, you will love him, because he, he does it more systemically. He does it, he's, he's you know, more complete. He's, not, he's, he's going through and getting cars to do this with and making sure he covers all the new ones. He's really, if you want to see the customization on any new car to know if you want to buy it or not, uh, he is the equivalent of Bruffy 1320, where Bruffy 1322 tells you the performance of every car Digital Card Act tells you exactly how, how much customization it has. It's, it's a really great channel. The one thing I do is when at the end of these build videos, I've taken to opening all the doors like he does because he made me interested in seeing what the engines look like. I mean, it's just how it is. I'm not actually trying to rip him off. Like, oh, I'll be another digital car addict. No, I, I'm, when I get done fixing up all these cars from the big... Uh, the big FOMO panic of 2023, the regularity of build videos is going to go away on this channel because it's just a matter of I'm just building up the cars that I have. It's, you know, that's not a matter of me trying to be a car build channel. You know, I'm not, so I'm not trying to rip them off, but it's certainly going to look that way because what am I doing? I'm building up cars here. That's what this whole series has kind of gone on about. And there's a lot more... I, I'm very cognizant of it because I've got weeks and weeks of this stuff because... Thanks to Rockstar, I had to buy like 50 cars or something like that. And if you're doing putting up one a week, well, you know, it's, this is this is going to be pretty consistent. So just so you know, it's I'm not even trying to make this like an homage to a Digital Car Addict. It's just a matter of I'm building up stuff. Whatever I do in game, you pretty much get to see every pixel that crosses across my screen when I'm playing games for the most part. Sometimes I'm just grinding boring stuff for money. Well, no, I'm I'm not going to torture you with it, but I mean, it's a uh, yeah, it's it's pretty much this. I'm just building stuff up, and I, I decided to go with a, a race car you know, truck build on this because this is just going to sit in my arena workshop. And you know why not? I say why not? That's the quadruple ripoff. See if you can pick that up. That's the fourth. That's the fourth uh, YouTube channel. Go MGo. If you're, if you're into Transformers, you know MGo. MGo three sixteen. And, uh, and the reason I say why, why not, I say why not, is because I watch so much MGO that it starts to get, when you, you know, my grandmother used to tell my mother, I know who you're hanging out with by the way you talk. And you pick up stuff from people when you're hanging out with them. This is, so, they, I see it's odd handling here, isn't it? So the fact that I watch so much MGO, he has actually entered my vernacular. Because you know, he's, he's that, you know, he's that good. But at any rate, uh, the other the other part of the ripoff comes later when I try to take this up chili. I'm pretty sure I took this up chili. I'm voicing this one over after the fact because my microphone had decided not to work. And 
That's just making me really paranoid right now. Let me just double check. Is that still working? Yes, look at that. It's still working. Okay. Um, so I'm voicing this over after the fact. And because I was really, you know, starting to have some opportunity, or at least I had some perceived opportunity where I was going to get to race in some of Ruffy 1322's G friends, I built a track so I could practice going up Chilia. It was strictly so that I could get better at it and, and save myself some time. I suppose just take a car out there and drive back. I could set to any car. It, it was just, you know, a simple thing. And I started to do that just as, well, you know, if I build a car, will it go up Chiliad is a natural thing to, to look at. You know, see what kind of performance it has. And it was something I could build into the videos, these build videos, to make it a little bit more interesting. Promote the track a little bit if people wanted to try it. You know, that kind of thing. Why am I taking this in the garage? I have no idea. I'm watching this. I have. It's been a while since I've recorded this. I have no idea what the plans were. I was. I was voicing it over as I did it, so I was explaining it. But that's all lost now because we. Uh, it, it doesn't happen that way. We're not. We. we that, that wasn't recorded. So we. I don't know what I'm doing here. But here we are taking a big old thing around. The garage. Oh, I just got to launch it off the top? Oh, it's a story here. At any rate, so that's another thing where I've got, okay, so I've got a build video like a digital car addict. I'm, I'm taking stuff up Chiliad like Bruffy does. I'm saying why not, why not, like MGO, and the intro is all taken from Austin from a variety of different YouTube channels. I'm not sure where Austin's working right now. I've lost track. You know, is, is I don't think he's with the game theorists anymore. Holy cow. Maybe he is. I don't know. You know Austin. Uh, all the all the Fallout si Google uh, all the uh, Fallout Science videos. You will find Austin and his awesomeness. And so, the Austin's a delivery of Okay, so that that's probably absolutely true. But you know, I'm 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 giving props. There'll be there'll be links in the description for stuff so you can see where this is going. And I don't feel too bad because I get no money from this channel whatsoever. I only have 700 subscribers. It's I'm sharing this with a small amount of really just friends here. We're all friends here right now, you know? I always say, like, if I can get 20 hits on a video, that doesn't sound like a lot in terms of YouTube. But if you got them all in one room, you know, that'd be a heck of a party, wouldn't it? It'd be, it'd be good times. So, yay, jump. Normally, by this point, I would have, you know, taken it up to the odd, but I guess we're just going along here, flopping about. I'm falling off the dirt. Oh, dear. I like what the I did here with kind of the Italian race car, racing truck kind of thing. It looks very much uh, something like the Mall from back in the day. That really does push, doesn't it? Wow. Just wow. And this is just probably gonna sit. I mean the thing does drift a lot. I mean you can you could just tap that in you can you can really slide the rear end around. I like that. I mean it's easier to drift than the drift tampa. And this isn't a truck in real life that you're gonna drift. I don't think. I mean, I'd be really surprised if, if Rockstar had done research and he said, oh yeah, these old trucks, they, they just get the tail out on them like crazy, because I, I just don't see it. Not with those huge tires out back and not a lot of power in real life here. I mean, and they have enough torque that they could carry stuff, but you could get an unloaded one. Are they just wild to drive? That would be fascinating to know. I, I'm not aware of that. Is that, is that a thing? What am I doing? Am I, am I going after the stash house? Did I try to do a stash house in a race, in a slam van, in a slam truck? I turned around when that popped up. Oh dearie my, we're gonna try and do that. Okay. Well, that's a thing. That's a way to live. I have, I have been hitting the uh, the stash houses pretty regularly because. Nearest I can tell, that's the only way to make some of 
the, uh, the, the the motorcycle club stuff profitable. I mean, you know, the documents and kind of, you know, the document business. That's the only way it's profitable for the most part. You're, you're making like 10k, although it's like terrible. So I hit the stash houses, and then I uh, I'll try to sell the dealers for a lot of times, and just keep that rolling. And then you keep doing that until someday when it's double money on on biker stuff, and you can sell it all off if you want to. I'm not sure I would. Just, just keep selling the dealers. But we run down here. Escaping with a uh, with a slam truck should be interesting. How many times do I get killed doing this? I've gotten better at it. Getting better at it. I also, myself up. I also usually get. I usually do one shot where it's like it bounces way too close and I just die. That almost got me. You're going nowhere! Hello, I usually there's at least one shot where I, I do it then I run outside and I have to come back in. Pink. I think at some point you have to go down and shoot the people. Oh wait, this guy's coming up. Uh, this, and I walked outside. Yeah, I told you. I was back up that little bit too much. She didn't have to break the door in at that point. I think I got that one guy. So, there should be like one guy left. I'll probably get shot in the crotch. Poof, poof, poof. And I always worry that I did I blow up the, the little sticky. And blowing everybody up and setting them on fire. Look at this! We got a floating TV screen. We're defying physics here. We move the box and not the TV. How's that? Oh, there you go. 72, 68, 83. Double checking. Did I read it right? Of course, we're just killing the lost. How many lost members? Oh, the box is in the way because I blew stuff around. So we move that. Why am I walking into this part of the room? You know, it's... Is it in the... Is it locked in... Is, am I doing this? Or is this a matter of... It was trying... It was already trying to break into the safe and now... Here we go. I hope I remembered the... Uh, the code there then because I've already forgotten it now. Of course I don't need it now, so... Beep! Yeah, there we go. We grab the stuffy doos. Stuff starts to glitch out like we're crazy. We exit the stash house and now it should get interesting because they're gonna try and kill me. And my point of escape is a not very fast, not well handling truck. Luckily they're in their own slam vans. As well as I'm in a slam truck, they're in a slam van, they're shooting the crap out of me. I'm just trying to drive away. By the way, kids, normally if you got you get shot 16 times in the face. See, counterfeit cash supplies. I can't even sell that on the street. So that's just going to fill up until it's full. And then someday when there's double money, I'll screw with it. Okay, now I think I could be wrong on this. I think we tried something here. Yeah. Can we keep it? That was the question. The question was, can we keep it? Get out of your truck. You get out of the truck, too. Everybody run away. This is one of the most difficult uh, cars to get in the game. And some of them are locked out, some of them aren't. I know for a fact this one doesn't work. But there is supposed to be some technique where if you get somebody else to start a mission and then you, you position yourself down by the docks and these things spawn, you can grab it and keep it. It's 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 a labyrinth. The only official way to get it is by a, a one in a billion chance on the, uh, the lucky wheel at the casino. Which is sad because it is a good-looking truck. I mean, it's, it does look good. It doesn't perform well. 
But I mean, the, the slam van, as they call it, where you, the ones you can normally get, which are the pickup trucks, but not really vans. Um, they're famous for a lot of specific specialty racing kind of stuff that has gone on because their braking distances are so long and hardcore racers, you know, like Arkham 1322, like racing with them because it adds more challenge to the game and separate the, separates the posers from the hosers, you know, the whole nine yards there. It's just, I know that didn't make any sense, but it rhymes, so that's all that really matters. So here we go. We're gonna try and park it. It, it. it wasn't. It wasn't upgradable. But can we take it in here? I think I was just really reaching for straw. You know, grab, grab, grab and straws to try to keep this. This proved once and for all. You can't have it. You can't have it. Which is disappointing. So there was nothing left to do except go up Chile Island with. The slam truck. Was there something else less to do? Oh, requesting my personal vehicle just so I has it. So I can't get the slam van, but I can get the slam. I can't, I can't get that slam van, but I can get this slam truck. And now. For reasons where are because we we only this is what we do. We're gonna try and take this vehicle up to the ad, which is not very likely going to work. Let us be perfectly honest. No one expects a success story here. We this is gonna be a failure. It is going to be a large, expansive failure. Full of fail. Buckets of. But we'll give it a shot. I'll give it the best chance of anything here. It comes right up. The custom slam truck. There you go. You could also use a, a stock slam truck if you if you wanted to know if when you took this. Why am I flipping around this much? Just looking what's there? I don't even know. Get ammo. Why not? Let's do that. Here we have it. Ye old slam truck. Let's say you had a car stuck at the top of Chiliad. Could you go get it with this? Am I really going to take this around? I don't, remember, I don't remember how this actually went. It's been that long. I remember it probably went badly. We. No, that that didn't. It's a boat. It's not a boat. It's a broken car. And now the train is promptly here. Okay, I got a better position on that. Hey, we made it across. Are we stuck? Possibility. Here we are. We're fairly, fairly moving. I guess we're gonna follow the thing. Choo choo. You don't, you don't want to try and push the train. It'll, it'll cause lots of damage. I say damage because it's completely incorrect. It has a vaguely European feel to an American, I guess. I don't think the, the slam truck has any chance of passing the train. There's not enough room for it. It's too wide. That's not going to happen. Oh dear, I'm pushing the train. 
I don't help. See, it's damn all. Oh, it's all bust up the nose already. My windows are gone. We're clipping through the rails. All this, and we haven't even haven't even attempted to go up. This thing has not lots of traction, not lots of power. It's extremely long. Very easy to get hung up on. This. We're going into this just expecting buckets to fail. Buckets. Failure in buckets. get a lot of momentum coming down on it. But just get it. Okay, there we go. Not a lot of confidence here at this point. But at least we're trying. It's very trying. Will we even make it to the second kind of stage here? The, the second mountain, the second hill? No, that's it. It's over. We need another, another path. Will it explode? I don't remember, it's been a while. In a few weeks. Yeah, it's all the wrong way. You, you wouldn't want to do... I'm going to tell you right now, don't use a slam truck in a deep run. Unless you're memeing and you expect to be last. Now these paths are a little bit better because of the game physics. They're less slippy, but they're not very much less slippy in a lot of cases. And stuff like this. Right, this thing is so wide and so long, parts of it are going to be off the trail when you're going around these things. This might be the ball game. Oh dear, it slipped right off the mountain. Now my Oh yeah, we have given up. Alright, that's that's at the point where I don't know why he's in battle mode there, but yeah, that that didn't work. What was I doing, running around in circles? I don't know, but yeah, it, it's way too slippy. You know, different spirit, I guess, only goes so far here. I have seen people take buses and things up there. What am I doing here? With the cat. Is this where I had two cascos? So we try to sell one off. Yeah, it must be. I was trying to sell it. Yeah, this is like kind of a bonus material thing. I think I. I 
I, I just had discovered. What am I doing? I have no idea what I'm doing. Now I'm going to the arena workshop? What am I, what was I, do? it's been weeks, I have no idea. Am I just showing you the other one that I have? There's a few cars I discovered that in the FOMO panic of 2023 I bought multiples of. And it was a matter of, oh well, there's just not enough parking for that. Never mind the fact that I have seven Eudoras, but I mean the Eudora is a specific thing. With wild customizability and a lot of fun. Casco's a nice car, but it's, it's nice enough to have one of them. That's before I, I had this. There, there it is. There's the slam truck. There's the other Casco. And here you could sell it. I think I'm going to sell it. Is what's going to happen. Yeah, there you go. So I don't have two of them. Bye. I was saying something here. I have no idea what. Oh, okay. And then the other thing is, I decided you know, this was. This is my Drift Tampa. I painted it completely flat matte black when Ken Block passed, sadly. Rip. Rest in peace. And so now I'm bringing it back, not to its original kind of look, but we're gonna, we're gonna modify it a little bit here. I think I ended up going with Okay, we, we, we brought back the, uh, the rum, uh, we looked at that, but we went back to the, the Raga, Raga rum. You gotta love rum, right? Well, you don't actually have to, no, you don't. So now, as we go through the colors, you can see different things, frost white, I usually prefer ice white, I think I went with the ice white, but... The frost white kind of shows off the numbers a little bit better, so maybe I went with that. More of a gray. All right, we went with the frost white, so that it would highlight the lion and the the number on it. Secondary. We didn't match it up. I think we think it's gone. We went back with the lime green or do yellow, something along those lines. Lime green is very its very tied to this car because I really wanted the whole thing done in lime green because you have to have all the stunts done to get lime green and it's, it's a very stunty car. So it needs some lime green on it. But the white's a little more subdued. I think I was in a little bit more subdued mode because, you know, we were just taking it from morning black. Alright, so it's not... We pondered under other builds on this. The new yellow would work. And of course, solid lime green. That's what you get there. And again, why am I putting this stuff in? Well, I didn't think this stuff warranted its own video, but I wanted it recorded for someday when I'm in the home looking at stuff going, Hey, I remember that car. It was a really good car. It wasn't really useful except for just tuning around, but that was the whole point. There's your all frost white build. And this car probably will get repainted more than once. I'll come up with some other thing I want to do with it. Make the whole thing rum brown. Not that rum brown is a color. You should add that color. Rum brown. There we go. Here's because we probably have enough browns. There's black. I 
Like I said, I forget, as I recall, I left it lime green. If you feel inspired by these other color choices, please go for it. You know, get yourself one. One of these days, I have to take the, the the drift tampon city air. There's always at least one drift tampon city air. I think it's because the car is in the in the uh, the thumbnail. I think it's city air. So you're gonna have to take it on that track just to see, you know, just to do it once because there's always one drift tampon city air. around here what else do we have going oh another minor point i i grabbed a dilettante and this is oh, see this the quintuple ripoff and hey, we're making this the quintuple ripoff okay so fail race channel you know casino royale they do a thing called survive the hunt where you know, casino royale has to go around the city incognito and to, hunters tried to he has a whole group of guys who try to find him they've got the maps turned off the name over players turned off he has to blend in and to make this more complicated for him all, traditionally what has happened is all the people hunting him get a, a personal car which is a pink Prius and they park it somewhere so that he can blow it up and when he blows it up they know where he is and so since this was going away. I think this is one of the removed cars, too. I decided to get myself one so that I would be prepared if someday, someday, I got to be one of the hunters and survive the hunt. It's not going to happen. But it's not likely to happen. It's very, very unlikely to happen. But if that day comes, Casino Royale, call me. I'd be thrilled to be a hunter. The uh, I will have a car ready. I do have another build video coming up for what uh, what I would do, what car I would use if I was the hunted, which isn't a good plan to share because then they'll know. But I'm going to share it because um, yeah, it's not real likely to happen. So here we go. We're going to try and just make it as interesting and as possible because all it's ever going to do is sit there and get blown up. I've, I don't even remember what I did with this. Some shadows. Real color. We must have made them pink. Here, what don't you think? Pink. Hot pink or salmon? Hot pink or salmon? I like salmon. Yo, salmon actually the fish is really good. Why I put bulletproof tires on something that's only going to get blown up, I have no idea. Why I put pink tire smoke on something that struggles to spin the tires. <laughs> I guess it can still do it a little bit. Don't know. Windows. Wait, did we go limo on this? We might have gone limo on this, but... Then if I'm ever hiding in the car, waiting for him to show up, Which is probably just a surefire way of getting yourself killed. I also think it's against the rules. Uh, let's see. Obviously, we need the Black Knight plate. So he knows it's mine. If ever, one day, we're doing this. What color? What color should I choose? There you go. And there you have it. That should be it, folks. I think it's about time. I said the magic words, you know, as they say. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.